So what are the best classes for Anna? Let's say you've gotten her to level 10, you've master sealed her onto warrior, and you're thinking about what magic class to put her on. A lot of people make the argument that she should be on high priest because it has plus 30% luck growth rate. And it is true. It will snowball your luck to some degree. It's an extra couple of points, you know, an extra three points per 10 levels of luck on fixed growth. However, High Priest does have the worst build of High Priest, Sage, and Mage Knight, and the lowest speed. And the magic stat, so the magic stat is 13, I believe is tied with Sage. So, all right, so let's check this out. So 12 speeds, so now let's go to Sage. So Sage has 13 speed, so plus one speed. It also has five build as opposed to four. So that's effectively plus two speed. It also has plus one magic, and it has a much better passive that scales your damage based on the number of allied tome users. So Sage is a good middle ground between Mage Knight, uh, which I would think is the more offensive route, and High Priest, which is the more money generation support utility route. So you can still contribute to damage and kill like Armor Knights and stuff like that on High Priest, but on Sage, she still gets some luck. She gets plus 15% luck growth, and she also gets the highest magic growth of plus 30%. Um, so Sage is kind of like a medium option. You can't go wrong with it. Mage Knight is for a hyper aggressive option, like is the hyper aggressive option. So look at the build. It actually has six build. So it has more build than Sage. It also has two more speed than Sage and it's passive lends itself to being even faster on top of that. It also has 5% extra speed growth, putting Anna at 55% speed growth. So it's slightly faster, but it also starts off much faster. So if you want her to kill stuff, Sword Mage Knight is fantastic because it gives you access to Leaven Sword, which as we all know is really good on mages. And it also gives you access to A rank tomes. And A rank tomes are the best tomes. S rank tomes, I don't even think there's really that many you can use. I'm fairly certain Nova is just A rank, which is a brave tome. So if you can get fast enough and with the increased build, this is the more hyper aggressive option. Now of all of these options, Mage Knight only gives you plus 5% luck putting Anna at 50% luck growth, which is still good. Like it's still five points of luck per 10 level ups. So Mage Knight for raw damage and killing and speed, Sage for hybrid, and then High Priest for more utility and more luck generation. So those are the differences. So in this case, I'm gonna be going Mage Knight. Also note that Mage Knight has like a higher base, like has higher base stats. Uh, and it also has some strength, so you could theoretically smack things with a sword occasionally. Not that it gives you a ton of strength growth, uh, because Anna's strength growth is quite low. Uh, so the Mage Knight gives plus 5% strength growth, but you would be using the swords for the Leaven Sword. Or you would be using spears for like Flame Lance, but Leaven Sword is fantastic, so we're going to go this route. But Chaos Style is legitimately very strong. It allows you, it's, it's almost like a weak darting blow. So this is her going from warrior. So she's going to lose some health and strength and defense and some build. But as a, on a magic class, this is fantastic for her. This is really good. Uh, this is the more offense oriented option. But those are the different things you can go. Uh, I, I would say those are the best. You could put her on Griffin Knight. This is another option. And the idea would be that she becomes... 11 sword griffin knight and honestly this sounds like a lot of fun the only downside of this though is it has it has like worse it has the worst starting magic in this case it would be at eight um so this only matters early on right because on griffin knight she would have let's see griffin knight so she would have 65 percent magic growth on griffin knight that's pretty decent like she, she would still end up becoming relevant it also has 15 percent luck so griffin knight is very good on her uh, you would give her 11 sword and eventually she would become so fast because she would be 70 percent speed growth she would be 60 percent luck uh, she would be 65 percent dex she'd be very accurate she'd be very fast and she could be pretty solid on this now, alternatively, you could try her on Wyvern for the increased... Actually, no, that doesn't really make sense at all. Yeah, because you, you wouldn't get any magic. Wyvern Wyvern's good for physical, but it does give you plus one build. That's what I was thinking in terms of, in terms of build, because Wyvern has one more build than Griffin. But Griffin Knight with 11 sword could be a viable route for her. It's just that it would start off a little slower. 
because the sword's kind of heavy, so she might not be doubling consistently right away, but she might because the speed is so high. And if you can get an engraving that reduces the weight, that would help her out as well. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. Just a quick little ex explanation between the classes that Anna wants to go into and why some are better than others and which ones are good. All right, so thanks for checking this out. See you in the next one.